Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about design trends and how you can bring them into your home. The trends in this video were on display at the Home Decor pop-up event, Small Cool New York City. This year, the in-person shopping experience was held in Industry City in Brooklyn, New York. 18 designers were challenged to bring 18 trends to life in creating small, cool spaces, and they did just that. The event featured hundreds of home decor and furniture brands wallpaper from Spoonflower, and the latest paint colors from Claire. Design trends you'll see highlighted throughout the spaces are maximalism, traditional with a twist, creative wallpaper applications, arch shapes, scalloped edging, bringing the outdoors in, organic and sculptural shapes, checkerboard patterns, layered lighting, and open shelving. I'm Nikki D, and I'm your go-to resource for design inspiration, furniture, and decor that's going to make your home look like you hired a designer. If you enjoy this video, please take a moment to subscribe and leave a comment below. Let's get right into it. You're going to see a lot of details and trends in a small amount of space, but these are meant to give you ideas and inspiration, not to be taken as literal interpretations. For this video, I'll highlight the trends in various spaces so you can see how each designer interpreted the trend. Design is subjective and there is no right or wrong way to bring a trend into your home. First up, we have maximalism, which can be seen in this Paris-inspired space. It has pattern mixing, bold colors, and a blend of old and new, whereas minimalism focuses on clean lines, neutral colors, and uncluttered spaces. Maximalism is all about abundance, boldness, and self-expression. It's a way to show your personality and unique taste. There are no rules, so you can mix different colors, patterns, textures, and objects. The mantra is more is more. You can mix different styles, eras, and cultures to create a visually stimulating and layered space. Color is celebrated and used to make a bold, vibrant statement. Maximalism is a great way to incorporate vintage finds, thrifted treasures, and family heirloom. The key is to create a cohesive look that feels personal and collected. It can be a fun style, but it's important to have a balance so your space doesn't look cluttered or overwhelming. Another trend is traditional with a twist. So think traditional spaces with modern touches. Traditional design focuses on timeless spaces that have symmetry, balance, and functionality, and the spaces are comfortable and inviting. This bathroom design by Nate Berkus is a great example of the trend. It has two arch curio cabinets on either side of the ornate mirror that's a symmetrical layout, but it's updated with modern retro sconces. There's traditional grass cloth wallpaper, but it's in a bold checkerboard pattern for an updated vibe. Wood is another classic material of the traditional space. However, here it has more of an organic worn vibe. Wallpaper is experiencing a major comeback in home design and it's being used in creative bold ways. We're seeing a maximalist look with large scale statement prints like jungle themes, oversized florals or unconventional stripes that make a powerful visual impact. It's being used in creative ways on ceilings, millwork, inside cabinetry, and even picture frames. This bedroom design has wallpaper with a border of picture molding that creates a focal point and is an extension of the headboard. It's an updated look to the classic accent wall treatment. Another way wallpaper can be used is to highlight architectural details like this arch scallop accent wall. In this kitchen design by Drew Barrymore, there is a neutral white shiplap wallpaper that draws your eye in and contrasts beautifully against the vintage Art Nouveau small scale floral on the side walls. The white wallpaper detail softens the floral from overpowering the space. Even the small fridge is wallpapered in a printed grass cloth that adds texture and dimension. It's a cool way to update a dorm room fridge and add your own unique personality. Aside from Old patterns, wallpaper is being used in sophisticated neutrals in modern muted tones. Colors like pink, beige, and brown add a contemporary twist to the traditional white and gray. They provide a subtle backdrop for bolder elements like furniture and accessories. Textured wallpaper like grass cloth or woven designs are being used for visual interest and depth. They offer a luxurious feel without overwhelming the space. Another trend is the arch detail. It's having a moment and can be found in doorways, windows, fireplaces, furniture, and decor. 
It's a shift away from the traditional sharp lines and angles and instead embraces soft curves and organic shapes. This trend adds a touch of sophistication, elegance, and comfort to any room. There are many reasons why curved furniture has become so popular. There's a psychological appeal, so studies have shown that curved lines are more inviting and calming than sharp edges. This is because our brains are naturally drawn to organic shapes, which are associated with safety and comfort in nature. It's also versatile, so curved furniture can be used in a variety of traditional and contemporary settings. It'll soften the look of a boxy room and add visual interest. Curved furniture can be more comfortable than traditional furniture, especially in sofas and armchairs where the gentle curves provide better support for the body. Next, we have the organic shapes trend, which is all about bringing natural curves and forms found in nature into your living space. This trend is a change from the harsh lines and geometric shapes that have been very popular. It embraces a fluid, inviting look with a connection to nature. Adding organic shapes to your home will create a more calming, stress-free environment. Here we have the sculptural furniture trend which aims to elevate furniture beyond its utilitarian purpose and transform it into a visually interesting piece that doubles as art. Instead of the typical straight lines and sharp edges, sculptural furniture embraces organic shapes, curves, and unique silhouettes. Think curvy furniture, asymmetrical tables, or statement chairs that resemble art. They're great to make a statement and will be a conversation starter in any living space. It's the perfect blend of art and design. Scalloped edging has made its way into the home in everything from bedding to rugs, baskets, mirrors, and lighting. This bedroom design has the scallop edge repeated on the bedding, the pillows, the rug, and even the mirror. Here's an example of ways you can bring the trends into your home. It's seen in the bedding, the pillows, the scallop edge on the ceiling light, the gold mirror, and even the wood frame of the armless sofa. You can really see the scallop detailing on the jute rug with the contrasting green border. Another way to bring the scallop detail into your home is to repeat the shape of the arches with contrasting materials as seen on the wallpaper paper accent wall. Bringing greenery into your home is not just a trend, it's a movement that's aesthetically pleasing with health benefits. This trend is more than just having a few houseplants. It's about creative ways to incorporate the beauty and energy of nature into a room. This can be with low maintenance miniature gardens, living walls like this framed moss artwork that add a vibrant touch and help purify the air. Dried flowers and botanical elements add a natural texture feeling. In the bathroom, plants add a spa-like atmosphere. They promote restful sleep in the bedroom. And in the home office, houseplants will improve focus and reduce stress. Greenery can be brought in with actual plants or artificial in artwork and decor. Adding touches of the color green in your decor and accessories will help carry your eye throughout the space and create balance and flow. The next trend is the checkerboard pattern. It consists of alternating contrasting squares, typically in two colors that are arranged in a grid pattern. The nostalgic pattern was introduced into fashion in the 1950s and 60s, and it's made a comeback and is currently trending in home decor and furniture. We saw it in the grass cloth wallpaper of the bedroom design, and here it is again in a contrasting retro black and white on the fireplace. The popular pattern is used in everything from a kitchen backsplash to vinyl and tile flooring. Here you can see it shown in wallpaper, area rugs, a pillow, and even a cozy plush throw blanket. The open shelving trend has become very popular, especially in kitchens and living rooms. It's practical and stylish, and it's a great way to update the look of your home. It creates a sense of openness and airiness by eliminating the bulky cabinets. Open shelves will visually enlarge a space and make it feel lighter and brighter. It's a place to display your favorite dishes, books, artwork, and decor. You'll also have easier access to everyday items like your dishes, glasses, or cookbooks. While there are many benefits to open shelving, it's not for everyone. They do require a commitment to keep things neat, organized, and clutter-free. Also requires more cleaning. Intentional styling is a must to create a visually pleasing layout. The arrangement, color combination, and overall placement 
of items on the shelves will require planning. You'll need to consider your color scheme so that the shelves and items complement your room for a cohesive look. The open shelving trend is a great way to add style, function, and personality to your home. Layered lighting is a design approach that involves combining multiple light sources to create a balanced and functional space. It's all about having more than just the overhead light and instead having different types of lighting depending on the activity and mood. The key to the layered lighting trend, which will give your space a designer look, is to combine ambient lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting in your room. Each type will have a different effect. Ambient light, provides general lighting for the entire room, like recessed lights or chandeliers. Task lighting provides focused light for specific activities, like a table lamp, floor lamps, or under cabinet lighting. Accent lighting is gonna highlight specific features or areas in a room, like spotlights or wall sconces. By layering different lighting, you can adjust the brightness and ambience of a room depending on your needs. So you might use bright overhead lights for cleaning, but then dim the lights and turn on accent lights for a cozy movie night. Layered lighting can also be used to highlight architectural details, artwork, or decor. It adds depth and visual interest to a room. In my opinion, a dimmer switch is a must so that you can adjust the brightness and create different moods. Other highlights from these spaces are the creative storage solutions like using a non-working fireplace to display books or as a bar nook, the use of mirrors to make spaces look larger and more expansive like the mirror tiles behind the bar or adding wall and floor mirrors. There was also a trend of adding fashion elements with fabrics that are typically found in apparel but incorporating those into living spaces, mixing scale and pattern for visual interest, adding rattan furniture for texture and warmth, and then creative wall decor like the Ikea plate racks used to display the books. And lastly, the use of space-saving furniture like a folding wall desk, beds with drawers, or bunk beds. And that, my friends, is a wrap. I hope these design trends and ideas help you create a home that looks like you hired a designer. Remember, design is subjective and there is no right or wrong way, despite what anybody tells you. It's all about creating a space that reflects your personality, unique style, and makes you happy. Be creative, have fun, and design a space you love. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you get more home design inspiration. Share it with a friend and comment below which trend you're going to bring into your home. If you have any questions, I'm always here to help. Have a great day and happy designing.